So I have a EPAD ZT-180, and I recently tried flashing it, and it worked. Then I installed Angry Birds, and after that I restarted it, restarted my tablet, and it wasn't responding after the EPAD logo lit up. So I turned it off, and I tried reflashing it. I don't know why I decided to do this, but I reflashed it right after turning it off, and my laptop died. The thing just shut down. Lack of battery power. But anyway, so it died halfway through reflashing for the second time, and it bricked my tablet. So all day at work, I was trying to figure out a way to get this thing working again. Every time I plugged it into the laptop, uh, Windows XP, uh, Service Pack, what is it? Service Pack 3, just letting you know. Uh, it would show up in the lower right-hand corner unknown device instead of the uh, SEC test board. It would show up as a unknown device and if you go to my computer and properties, go to device manager under hardware, it would show up under the USB as unknown device like right in this area. So I tried installing manually the uh, drivers for the tablet and nothing was working. No matter what I did, no matter you know different types of drivers I found on all the forms, nothing worked. So I started watching this video on YouTube by this, I want to say he's uh, mm -hmm. Chinese, I'm not sure, but uh, he was talking about and <laughs> Oh, just got a text, sorry. And just got a, um, he was trying to reflash the 7-inch M801 or something like that tablet. But anyway, he was striking, or better yet, running a screwdriver down the N and flash ROM chip to try to, uh, with the power on, to try to um, wipe everything clean, like wipe everything clean and put it right back to normal before it has any, you know, before the company, the manufacturer put any uh, software on. So I took apart my, my EPAD, my ZT180. It's the... Uh, does anything, of course. Uh, it's the it has the Ruby version 1.4 on it, and I'm um, sorry, I'm just going to rotate everything around. And uh, you know, you everybody out there, you've probably all seen this before. You know, you got is any Ruby version 1.4, and you know, you this right here is the ROM or the memory board, and uh, your video, ca your yeah, LCD cable, your LCD power. That's what I imagine those to be. So you take a little tiny screwdriver, so you can undo the the, the one, two, three, four, five little Phillips head screws, and you take this and you you push this little black clip right here and right here up so that you can pull this ribbon cable out. You come down here and you do the same thing here. You push this one down and you push this black clip down and you can pull this ribbon cable right out. Disconnect the battery for now and take all this crap masking tape off so you can fold your so that you can fold this circuit board back and underneath this section right here, there'll be a Samsung 
chip. And what you need to do with this disconnected and this disconnected, but you plug this in and you turn on you turn on your tablet and put it into flash mode. So you have to hold down that home key, which is a little button like right around this area. So you hold that down and you turn on the uh, tablet. Once the blue light turns on, you uh, you take your your little tiny screwdriver, your jeweler's screwdriver, and on the other side of this board where the Samsung Samsung chip is, you you run down. It's like a bunch of these. Well, let's see. It's like a it's a bunch of little legs coming off the chip. And you just run down it, and you, you know it sound like click 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 like this. That's what it'll sound like. Um, yeah, do that to both sides. I'm not sure. I think it was if you if you take this and you flip it over. So flip it over. It'll be on uh, the right side. So it'll be on this side, not this side, but this side. You want to run your little jeweler screwdriver down. You do that with the power on. You should see there's a little LED light on the the bottom of the, this part right here. Uh, my camera doesn't have that great of optics, but it's located right here, this little white guy. Yep, that one right there. That will light up yellow. It will flash. Uh, when you get that, then you plug everything back in and bolt everything back up, put the crap-ass masking tape on, and you can leave it, you know, like this. Uh, turn it off and then plug in your uh, USB to uh, the OG OTG port and load up burn tools. I highly recommend getting burn tool uh, 7 what is it 7.41 you can see that sorry if you can't just google it burn tool 7.41 if you're looking for a password, I'll load this up. Let's see. Setting, it'll ask for a password. The password is anything. That's anything. Okay, I'm not joking around. Push OK, then load your. Uh, okay, let's do it. Zenything. Boom. Load up all your uh, your U boot your kernel, your system file, your user data, and scrub it, save, then click start. Uh, you know, when you're into the reflash mode, push start and let it do its thing. It takes like maybe five, maybe six or seven minutes. And, you know, once it's once it says successful underneath the status, um, push the home button, you, you know, that little round button, and um, it's going to restart. Your computer is going to go bing, bing, you know, like it's connecting or disconnecting uh, the USB. Um, disconnect the USB and check it out.